What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. Happy New Year to the world out there watching this video. Today for the first, I think it's gonna be the first video of 2022. It is gonna be an app review on an app called Luzik. Luzik is basically a kind of like a Bluetooth receiver application for Windows 10 and it is styled in just like how I like with the whole Windows, design, Windows 10 design style. It has just, it's just a simple application. You boot it up and you can connect your Bluetooth devices to it, basically using your computer as a Bluetooth speaker for uh, whatever it is you wanna play Bluetooth through. So let's take a look at it. By the way, it was designed by the developer Shivan Shri Vastva. I hope I said that right, I probably didn't, but it was done by that person. So shout out to you for making this a uh, good looking application. I tried it out for a little bit. So let's take a look at it and see just uh, how it works and how to set it up. All right, so here is the application in question. This is Bluezik, like I said, and it is one of the most simple applications that I've looked at thus far, but it does simply just work like magic, even with this free version. Uh, by the way, the paid version is like six bucks, somewhere around six bucks in the US dollar range. And then the uh, other tier of the paid range, which just removes uh, advertisements, is like $2.79. Um, I'm not sure why the price is so high. In my opinion, I think it should be $2.99 for the lower version. Um, but general, going back in, you can see it's a straightforward application. It looks good. This was recently just updated to all the Windows 11 design style with the Fluent Design background and the mica design elements and things like that full screen looks like that you see it bleed through to my background of my desktop that shows this 4gt back there um right here is your play button this starts the receiver which i'll jump into in just a second and then right here is the play audio and video with wi-fi connection so you can do either or play button just goes in uh i think with via bluetooth and then the wi-fi connection is also there and then over here, it says switch to premium. Like I said, I'm not gonna do that because it costs a lot for what it is. Um, the next thing I wanted to show with it is also you get the share button. If you click share, it uses Windows's uh, share interface. And then this collapse button just removes everything here that you need to, uh, you know, all the distractions so that you can enjoy your music. Uh, now this three dots goes to your menu. You can pin to start, pin to taskbar the application. You can go to settings or view the tutorial. We'll go into settings real quick. Just like I'd like to see in just about every application, you hear me say it a lot, is that it's got the information about the application all up front. Everything you need to know about the developer and things like that and where to follow them is everything is clearly labeled on here. Um, I kind of wish that the social buttons were integrated a little better because their highlight points are kind of weird. Um, but in general, everything is there. What I would like to see in all their applications that they do have also is there. Um, one thing they do tell you up front, which I do, I don't mind now that they tell you up front instead of sneaking it in, is that they say that when you first turn on the application to start receiving uh, audio, uh, optional, optional diagnostic data is turned on by default, um, but you can turn it off obviously here in settings, which you see that I have in fact turned it off. Um, and then you got the app background. So one of the highlights of this application is that you can play music on you, your bigger screen um, and you can play music, let's say you have a um, home theater PC. So you have a big screen TV and you can have a little mini PC attached to it to stream all audio through or just have audio come off of. Uh, you can stream music or audio from your device of choice, whatever it is, in this case is gonna be my phone, uh, to the computer because the computer probably has far better sound than your phone does. So that's the idea for this whole thing. And then obviously you'd be able to then control the audio uh, with your phone and not through the computer. So that's that's pretty dope. Uh, but if you click at background, you got multiple choices. Anything from fill image, I believe down, yep. Anything from fill image down is a premium feature. Um, so you can actually add your own background image that it'll use, or you can just hit colorful, which is the, I think one of the defaults, but I like none because I like to just see my background through it all. And of course, this is where you would normally select your image to put into the background so that while you're playing your music, it plays that image. One thing I would like to see though, um, even though I haven't been able to try the premium version because it costs so much uh, for such a simple thing, is I would like to hope that they have slideshow support. So let's say you can add a whole folder and set the increments of time that things go by. So that way, let's say you're having a family outing 
where your your family has come over to visit and you want to use your big screen TV as like your music streaming box type thing. Um, and you want to have just pictures going by because it's a family reunion. It's been a while, COVID, we haven't been together. You know, that'd be nice to have a slideshow while your music is going on and you're controlling your music. That'd be nice to have. Last thing is here is a remove only advertisement. Like I said, it would cost me about it would cost me about two seventy nine, and those advertisements are pretty annoying. You see, a lot, you saw before that they kept flashing on the left and right side of the screen every like three or so seconds, which is kind of annoying. So in my opinion, if you're gonna put ads in here, don't let the advertisements keep flashing to kind of refresh. Just leave them the same. Don't let them keep changing because it's kind of annoying to the eyes to see that. I know it's there to probably entice people to pay for it, but that's not good. All right, there. That's not good tactics, right there. Um, and then here you got the version history, which is nice that they tell you what came in each version. Um, it says current version here, which is uh, 1.0.2, uh, include the Windows 11 user interface, premium feature, and new settings, and so on like that. And then 1.0.1 included modern design, play from uh, Bluetooth devices, and so on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, we don't have live tiles anymore, so that's why that's gone. So we just have that. But overall good application now let's jump into the meat of it and actually try it out and then this rate later thing so you'll see here on the left and right you'll see in just a second you see it just keeps uh trying to refresh or something like that it's kind of annoying honestly it's pretty annoying that it keeps flashing but i mean we'll try to get through this as fast as possible that way i can show you guys the rest so clicking this button here and then lowering this expand here now you see we have the start receiver if I click this right now, it says start discovering Bluetooth devices and I can hit start. And then automatically, because the only Bluetooth device that's on right now in my entire house is this is my current phone, Z Fold 3. So now that it is connected to my phone, uh, you see that this is the interface, how it looks like. It doesn't really, not much changes. Uh, one thing I would like to see in the application is maybe it showing what is actually playing from the phone that would make it a little better instead of just showing the available devices. So they could definitely reconfigure this screen and also stop these annoying ads. But now I'm going to hit play on the phone and I'm going to see if audio actually plays and how long it takes uh, from when I press it to when it plays. So in three, two, one, press. City of so you can see right there that audio in fact started playing and I literally pressed it one to one of when I uh, told you guys that I'd count down to when I pressed it on my screen. So there it is. It works now. All right. Now that I paused it so I can you can hear me better. That's essentially it. This application is there's not much to it. Uh, you can play audio. Obviously, uh, you can even let me see one other test that I want to do is I want to play, let's say, the Sam the Cooking Guy uh, tidbit on YouTube. Let's see if audio goes through, because it is essentially the computer becoming the Bluetooth receiver. And that is true. Yep, Sam the Cooking Guy video did show up. Uh, so you can watch movies uh, from your phone through your computer speakers and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, not sure why you would do that instead of just using your computer, but you got the option to do that. So yeah, that's, in a nutshell, Bluesic. It is a potential contender for a really good application but they need to fix quite a few things or a bit of things in order for it to be useful uh, just because like the function of it works the prime function of it works which is connect a receiver or connect your your computer to your device of choice and use it as a receiver so that way you can play music or video whatever it is through your computer speakers, it does work. So that way, if you're in New York City and you don't have much space in your house or your apartment, one less thing to have around your house. You just connect your computer to everything, your phone or whatever it is, tablet just connects to your PC and you can use all the audio that your PC has, whether it's a studio kind of audio or whatever. Now, that's the good thing. The bad thing I have to say again is these advertisements, they keep flickering. I know you can pay for it, but it costs almost $3. I think it's a sale for the most part, but it's like 279 to remove the ads and the ads keep flickering after every couple seconds and it's just really annoying they don't just stay still not only do they flicker they even shake i just noticed inside it um and then going in again another thing that i just i just don't don't like is just when i go into settings in fact let me hit disconnect because that's what it wants me to do if i go into settings right now which the receiver has stopped there you go stop bluesic and there we go now if i go to settings one more time um the automatically turning on optional diagnostic data, I understand it's easier for the developer to be able to gain telemetry data from your usage to know if something goes wrong, how they can fix it. Uh, and I guess this is just how it is nowadays, but I'd like to see them just 
not have that on at all because it's optional. But I guess that's how the Windows 11 way is. It's just privacy, everything. Um, and then the last thing too, just feature I would like to add in, in fact, uh, if it's not already there uh, with the premium version is for this player background image, I would like to see slideshow support. So that way, rather than just individual files, I wonder if, uh, I wonder if you can actually just import a whole folder of images and it'll just play every folder in whatever amount of incremental time that you can have. But overall, this is a good application. Clearly, it looks like it's already copyright 2022, which is crazy because it just turned 2022. Um, so very good application. It looks good. I got to say, it's, it is beautiful of an application. Just some quirks that need to be ironed out and some UI things that can be probably be fixed here. Um, I think in the future, what I'll do is uh, I'll probably start when I talk about the part of what could be fixed in the application, I may include an actual thing on Figma or Adobe XD on how I would see that thing fixed in my own personal design language. So stay tuned for that probably later on this year. Who knows? But my name is Kwaku. Hope this was useful. Uh, this is Bluezik, Windows 11 app review. Happy 2022, everybody. Stay safe out there. And uh, if you got a snow blizzard like I did just now, uh, stay safe inside. Take care.